Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will draw with fountain pen. In this tutorial I will show three different ways of shading with ink. I will do three sketches of pairs and each I will shade it with a different technique. The first one will be the most classic and the most organized which is with hatching and cross hatching with parallel lines. Uh, I do parallel lines for the pair, also for the shadow, in a tilted way. And then, to increase the tone, to make it darker, I cross them. So that is hatching, is parallel lines, and cross hatching is in another direction. I don't do it all over, just uh, where I need the shadows to be. Good. The next layer will be horizontal. Each time it gets darker and darker. The next pass will be with vertical lines. And if we need more darkness, we can add lines in additional directions. Very good. Excelente. The next technique is also with hatching and cross hatching, but this time we will try to follow the shapes of the pair. We make the lines trying to follow its form, trying to follow the contour in some way. You can do this with different directions. I'm drawing with my gorgeous vanishing point fountain pen. I really love it. It glides on the paper like skating on ice or something like that. <laughs> you can see the materials I am using in the description under the video. I do the shadow with straight lines because it is on a flat surface. And we can increase darkness, of course, adding lines in different directions. I always try to follow its shape, including on the stem. I like this method the best because I think following the shape increases the perception of volume. Very good! The last one will be more loose with doodling and scribbling patterns. First I make the outline with a dotted line so that it doesn't look continuous and then just doodle. Do this loosely with your own pattern, with your own scribbling method. <laughs> The areas that you need darker, just go over them again with more doodling. This is really fun! I remind you that for longer videos you can always visit my Patreon account. For the shadow, I'm doing the doodling a little bit tighter, as you see. And let's go over again this lower area, which is the darkest. Very good, it's getting there. And we leave a light area for the reflection. I would love it if in the comments you let me know which one of the three techniques you like the most. We give it the last touches and it's ready! If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, share it to your friends and subscribe to Final Tips and to Patreon. You know where to follow me, the links are below. And I will see you on Tuesday.